hey loves welcome back to another video so in today's video we're focusing more on eyeshadow blending and you're not going to be seeing the whole process for the full face of this look but i'll show it at the end and as you can see in the preview first off i did go in with a bit of light pink to blend the crease area and just buff it out up to the brow bone area now i'm going in with a purple to create a depth around the crease area and i'm using a it's like a dense brush to just pack that purple around now I'll be blending out the edges of the purple and the pink as well now don't you worry because I'll be repeating this same step at the other eyes or on the other eyes pardon me now I'm blending in circular motions just to diffuse that purple and the pink to create that gradient effect Hi guys, in case you're new to my channel, consider subscribing if you're a returning subscriber. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and just stay tuned for more amazing content. Also give the video a big thumbs up, it means a lot to me. So now I'm going back in with a bit of um, pink just to blend the outer corners and as you can see I'm raising the brow bone or the brows just to be able to blend around that corners. Now I'll be going with that dark purple and the brown to darken the outer corners or the outer V areas. Now I'll be going in with that clean brush just to buff out the pink onto the up to the brow bone area just to make sure it's soft and not harsh. Now over to this eye, I'm repeating the same step I did over there. I'll just be applying that pink, then packing on the purple around the crease area and also blending it upward with that same brush as you would see as you can see I'm raising the the brows up just to be able to get into those creases because I want when I'm cutting the crease so that I can have that depth so I'm going to be packing on that purple and also blending it slightly upwards please in case you're not getting the video kindly rewind or go back rather and You'll be able to catch up now I'm using this brush just to still pack on that purple and I'm going back in with that brush I used to pack on the purple just to blend the edges after that is blended I'm going back in with that big old fluffy brush just to blend the edges to have that gradient effect and all that good stuff we are focusing more on eyeshadows today no full face of anything but we did complete the whole look and for the brows kindly follow me on Instagram because I did create an Instagram TV video on the brows so definitely go follow me it's underscore you see Tonya all right now to cut the crease I did apply some concealer on the lid and she did look up then it helped me to map out the areas where I need to cut the crease and after cutting the crease I'm going in with a bit of white in the inner corner and a shimmery purple or a purple shimmer rather and I'm using a fluffy brush to tap the product in I discovered using a fluffy brush to tap your products in work even better than a flat packer brush So after I'm tap, um, in the process of tapping and tapping, I'm getting all the colors around and all the edges and so on. I'll be darkening the outer corner and after we did the liner, the mascara and the full face of makeup, it all turned out nice. I'm basically using a small brush to just sharpen the crease edges. And this is the completed look after the whole eye makeup. I hope you enjoy please make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time. bye guys love you